welcome to the Ended Up in Vegas podcast. We are going through this game known as... We're not really strangers. Nikki and Megan edition. Describe our friendship's defining moment. I feel like our friendship's defining moment when I look back in my mental history is... What's that restaurant? I feel like I can never remember the name of it. It's on Flamingo okay. and the 215. Uh-huh. And we were having brunch there. Toasted? Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I just feel like that was, there was a defining moment that day. Like, where we decided. We, we realized that this was. Yeah, we were like. We're going to do this. <laughs> I like you. I like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was even like the first time we met at, um, <clears throat> the, is it the, what's the egg place on uh, Yoked? What's oh, the, yeah. The, the Broken Yoke? Broken Yoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like like the first time we met. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was just like. Uh, I don't know how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like the first time we met. Like I think I remember. I think I remember what you were wearing, and you were just you like, "You do? Yeah. This is a love story." <laughs> Let's not make it weird. But no, I was just like, I don't know. Just like it was our first time meeting. I don't even think we'd even spent much time on the phone. Mm-hmm. And you had on like a denim shirt, and you were just like so casual. And mm-hmm. We just Sounds started like talking me. and sharing stories, and like I don't know. There was just like something like. I like this person. Yeah. I'm with this person in my life, and I like working with this person. Like, Did I order a Bloody Mary or a mimosa? Ah, Bloody Mary. I feel like that's the thing when you're like, are we going to have a meeting that doesn't involve a brunch yeah. drink? You were like, I love brunch. And I was like, I love brunch. Wait, did we just become best friends? I think I do remember you had huevos rancheros there. I did. Okay. I don't want to think about that. What have you been extra hard on yourself for lately? Let me roll out all of the things. (laughs) What haven't I been extra hard on myself? What are you trying to not think about? Mm. That. (laughs) What are you tired of complaining about? I'm trying. Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah. I am so tired of complaining about Instagram. Mm. And Canva. Yeah. And Splice. All the technological apps. And my phone reception. Yes. AT&T, go eat shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do another one of those posts, like ha- happy Tuesday to everybody, but Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday. And yeah, I'm tired of complaining about apps Yeah, and technology. Mm-hmm. What's one small thing I've done for you recently that made you feel loved in a big way? My Stanley cup. Your Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are my scissors, my craft Aww. scissors. If your last relationship was a Netflix series, what would it be called? <laughs> um, Walking on eggshells. How about that? <laughs> Never doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best worst thing that's ever happened to you? The Divorce. worst. <laughs> my husband's girlfriend, who's now my best friend, second best friend. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't get that wrong. Husband. <laughs> uh, what's the most recent thing you've been influenced to buy? Oh, gosh. What? Okay. So it was recently pointed out to me that I am an 85 year old when it comes to my no show socks. (laughs) (laughs) So the other night I bought some better no show socks so that they're not peeking out of sneakers anywhere. You're not allowed to have them show at all? No. That's a thing? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. What's mine? I'm going to be really boring, but Stanley, I had to get a second one and Mm -hmm. uh, (laughs) bodysuits. I feel like I was influenced to buy some clothes from Baltic Born, which is not where I would normally shop, but they're very, very big on marketing on Instagram. And I saw this really pretty dress. And then, of course, to qualify for the stupid free shipping, I bought two other things. One piece I like and the other one I'm like, meh. AirPods. Oh, you you were like, they're great. And I was like, they're required. Yeah. I didn't know they were so great. Yeah. Like they're amazing. Mm-hmm. You can like, like when you lose them, you can ping them from your phone. Yeah, it tells you how much they're charged. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can. I, this is like the little things in life. I can switch from my MacBook to my phone mm-hmm. like very easily. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. I like I didn't know how much I needed them. I can't live without them. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, they continue to get better because I feel like they need to know when they're in your hand. Yes. So that when I take them out to talk on my phone, they don't keep. Going trying in and to go out. back and forth. Yeah, there needs to be a way for that. Yeah. 
Or sometimes if I'm, because I sleep with AirPods in, when I roll over from one side to the other, it'll stop playing because I take one out of my ear. Uh-huh. Like, you know, and then yeah. I put it in the case and I have to play again. So, I mean, it's first world problems. <laughs> What's the most, okay. What have you been overthinking or who? Boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens. I overthink houses. Like my client said to me a couple of weeks ago, she's like, these are the things that keep me up at night. Mm-hmm. And then she said the most low level problem ever in <laughs> buying a house. And she knew it was, but it was like, that's what keeps me actually up at night too. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah. Uh, can you share what it was? I don't even remember what it was. It was so like. Inconsequential. Yeah. And that's I think it was, honestly, I think it was an overmount sink. That's what it was. Okay. Sink, the sinks in the home that she's buying are overmount. <laughs> I would, I, I would lose sleep over that too. Yeah, because you can't fix that. No, that's, you have to get that's a serious. Top. Yeah, that's a serious. Yeah, concern. she was really upset about it. Like we had gotten under contract, and it was like one of those things that you had to just soothe. Mm. It's like it'll be okay. It'll... Is this kitchen or bathroom? No bathroom. Okay. Yeah, that's terrible. But yeah. There's no place for overmount sinks. I agree. But you know what I did decide yesterday? Here's what I decided. I'm not going to do any more tubs that you can't put your arms on top of. Okay. I have been thinking about, I thought about tubs all day yesterday. And I determined that an overmount tub is superior to a freestanding tub with like a little tiny rim. Mm. So if the freestanding tub has a thick rim for you to like actually rest your arms on comfortably... I'm all for it. Or set something on? Mm-hmm. But the little rims, I don't know. I just don't think they're serving us. Mm. I think we need to eliminate them. Okay. So I'm not putting them in any more designs. Yeah. Um, who in your life leaves you feeling drained? What boundary could you set with them? Nobody. I'm spiritually drained by everything. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm so, I'm so sensitive. Mm. I'm very sensitive. Yeah. So I feel like the, what boundary could you set with them? My boundary is I'm no longer going to explain it to you. Mm. You know what? I read this really good thing. It's like, I can, I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Right. Yeah. So somebody put that on me recently Yeah. that I needed to explain something better to them. And I was like, Mm. I've explained something to you three times thoroughly. I don't think it's a me problem. Here's a link to chat GPT. (laughs) Yeah. Who, who, by the way, is the best relationship advice coach I have ever had. Oh, really? Yeah. What'd she say? I, I, I've any, named her she, by the way. I love her this. pronoun. I love this. Um, it, just any question you have, like you can just spit it in there. What'd you ask? Um, what's the most recent thing I asked? I'll have to get back to you on oh that. Oh my gosh. So I'm going things. to put chat GPT to my therapist test now. <laughs> You're like, what do I do? Like, is it a reason is it reasonable um to be upset about this? Or would a reasonable person in this situation be upset about this? Mm-hmm. So I had a, an altercation with my son's hairstylist. Mm-hmm. And I was like, would this be a reasonable thing to be upset about? And it like gave me answers and pros and cons. And then of course there's always this like little disclaimer at the very bottom, but like situations are unique and blah, 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 blah. But it's Mm -hmm. just like, it's like an advanced Google search. Hmm. It's so helpful. Has it replaced Reddit for you? Yeah. (laughs) No. Yes. No. (laughs) What, what, what would we name? I I give chat GPT a she pronoun because I feel like that's what's going to make me like it more. Because sometimes it hasn't worked very well for me. Microsoft or Google came out with Bard. I don't know. That's weird. But yeah, we need a fail. name like a, I don't know. It can be a non-binary Like name. Alexa, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Like. But something like that. Like yeah. It needs, yeah. I think they should have given it a more humanistic name. Yeah. I feel like I could cozy up to it more. And like, it's better. I have learned when you train it. So that's what I was missing before. Mm-hmm. Now that I've like t- started to talk to her, like someone giving a little bit more background, mm-hmm. like I am this person. Tell me about what I would say in this situation. And then let me think about this. So maybe we should have a poll on good possible names for chat GPT. Maybe Dolly. Does it need to be with a C? Dolly? No. But I mean, like it's chat. Oh, GPT. chat. Does it need to start with a C? Mm, mm. <laughs> I don't know. Would it, would it have to start with a CH? Mm-hmm. Charlene. I was going to say. 
my aunt Charlene will be pissed at this. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl, that's a that's, yeah. Sometimes S H C H. Shirley. <laughs> Nobody calls me Shirley. <laughs> Charla, Charla, Charlotte. No. How about Chance? Chance. What made you smile today? Um, the text messages my daughter sent me asking me to evacuate her from school. You, that was literally the most hilarious thing. She was like, help, come get me. Out of this, Save me. Out of this hell hole. Out of this hell hole. And then little hole emojis and then fire. And then NVM. <laughs> <laughs> when she realized I wasn't responding. <laughs> what could be possibly going on? Girl, we are recording a po podcast. Your mom is not <laughs> helping you. What do you want to make more time for that? What's getting in the way of that? It wouldn't be like flying an airplane. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be like taking a cooking class. Mm -hmm. It would be doing art. Mm -hmm. Like it would be taking an art class. Like my daughters took a um, art class when they were little from a certified Bob Ross instructor. Really? And their, yeah, their paintings are insane. And really? they were five years old. Really? Mm -hmm. I did like one of those painting Pinot's palettes or whatever. Yeah. And I was surprised at how much I enjoyed that. Yeah. Apparently you add alcohol to just about any situation and it becomes fun. Yeah. I'd like to try... Um, this with the wheel. Um, Why am I drawing a blank? With the Pottery. wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of like Sleeping Beauty and like she's, I'm like, is she sewing? Is she? <laughs> My son asked me to do some kind of learn pottery and I was like, uh -huh. that might be fun. Yeah. You know, like the potter's wheel or whatever mm -hmm. and learning how to do something with clay. I probably would do it once and then never do it again. My friend's husband does it like as his hobby and he makes some really cool things. I think that would be cool. Yeah. I'd also like to learn how to do woodworking like a, some basic carpentry. Yeah. Like if I want a bench in my, like I want to be able to build it. Yeah. I but feel like because that, right? I worked so long in furniture and painting things, I'm like, mm, that season of my life is kind of over. And I'm, listen, we're getting older. I don't even like moving shit anymore. <laughs> like I don't want to be out in the garage, okay. especially in the heat. If it's in a more climate tolerable control. climate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that would be cool to make something, but nah. Yeah, I'm okay to design it. And I think that that's where I would love to, you know, just like be able to sketch better and be able to like have some curated art. Yes. I would love to be, I wish I had somebody like, uh, like a Spencer or somebody mm -hmm. who I could just be like, here, I want this. This is my idea. Now make it yeah. for me. Yeah. And I don't have to like do all the, the brain damage of trying to find the right wood or trying to find the yeah. right pieces. And like, I just like Joanna Gaines did with her guy. Like, mm -hmm. here, I want a table and they make it for you. Like, that's, yep. that would be amazing. Yeah, because I think I already know all the things that go into it. It's a lot of saws. It's yeah. a lot of different, you know, Equipment. components. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was my last breakup like for you? <laughs> with a girl, how about that? Huh? <laughs> with a girl. With a girl? <laughs> yeah, what was my last breakup like for you? With uh, a girl. With a girl. We're not talking about boys? No. I think it was educational for me. Yeah. Yeah. To see how you deal with conflict and to see how you respond to people in difficult situations and process. And you're very stoic. And I admire that about you. See, uh, criticism, though, is that I think my stoicism is part of my, like, what I want to continue to master. Uh -huh. And maybe that goes along with, you know not feeling feelings, but just, <laughs> what is it like just seeing feelings? Is mm -hmm. that what, what's the term? Uh, feeling versus uh, like just noticing that they're there. Right. Like you like, like let them float by. Have yeah. You heard, like the, the leaves, the, something, the, the leaves, there's a, there's a thing. Yeah, like yeah. you can like let the feelings float by you. Yeah. You don't have to. And so some people see that as like, I'm like cold. Avoidant. Not avoidant, but just not um, like like once I've explained myself mm -hmm. and my position, like I'm not gonna continue to let it, mm -hmm. like I'm not gonna let myself take it personally. I think that's really a that's a skill that most people don't even get to cultivate. That if, like I'm not like that. I really struggle. Like I have a harder time, and I do some. There's a moment sometimes where I'm like, Am I gonna let this bother me? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes I don't sure have, am. Yeah. <laughs> you damn skiffy. <laughs> I wish, I, I mean, I guess I could be better about that, you mm -hmm. know, not letting things get to me and not, my mom will say like, don't let it bother you. And I'm like, that's an option, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's a choice. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a feeler. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like you handled that situation with such grace and, you know, I had a, a 14 second argument with my son's hairstylist who's an old friend and I cried for 90 minutes. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I was like, how come I can't handle this more? Well, I think things weigh, they weigh really heavily on me, but I don't get emotional about them. Like sometimes I will cry, but I don't know. We've talked about this mm -hmm. since these like conversations about, you know, with Kristen and like feeling your feelings. And I'm like, it's, I don't feel good when I'm feeling mm -mm. in my feels all the time. I like to watch them because they're not mine. I'm just having them. I just read something like that yesterday. Like there's a choice that you can make a decision on whether or not you're going to let something, I'm going to bastardize this, but it was like, yeah, like there's a, there's a choice to be made when a uh, feeling like you yeah. can choose to let something bother. You can choose to have a feeling about something. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can mm -hmm. choose to not let it bother you and you move, let it like float on by and let it pass you. But yeah. Do I seem like a morning person or a night owl? Why? I feel like you're both. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, why are you up this early? Why are you up this late? Well, I'll be like <laughs> texting to like uh, ungodly hours and then the texts are early in the morning. Um, and then you're like, God, woman, when do you sleep? <laughs> I feel the same way. I think this is a, this is as you hit the forties or whatever, or you yeah. get close to 40, you used to sleep less. It's 3am. Are you awake? <laughs> I had to guess, I would say, well, I don't know because you did your years in news. I would say you're more of a, probably more of a night person, but am I wrong? I think by nature I am. My like, my clock doesn't really, my body doesn't get really tired until like midnight. Yeah. So, Is your partner on the same clock as you? He has a hard time sleeping. Yeah. So I think, you know, we have to like show a concerted effort to go to bed yeah. at a decent time because we ideally want to get up early. Yeah. But it doesn't always happen as early as we would like it to. Do you think that that's an important element to a relationship to be on the same circadian rhythm? Similar, similar. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't, it is, but I I don't think it's required, it's helpful. Because when someone tells me they wake up at like five or earlier on yeah. purpose. Well, I'm here's like, what the problem is. Like when someone, you know, when your partner works very early in the morning and I'm, you know, I don't need to be at work at five or six in the morning and you're cleaning up dinner Mm -hmm. And there's no help. Yeah. And there's no contribution. Mm -hmm. And they're like, all right, I'm going to bed. Good night. You're like, what? You think some fairies are going to come in and magically? Yes. Yeah. All of the things. I mean, fairies. there's some benefit if they leave the house and they're gone in the morning. Because that was like in my marriage, he was gone in the morning. Mm -hmm. And so that was nice because I had a lot of time to myself. Mm -hmm. I was very quiet. But then there was like, oh, they want to go to bed at seven or eight o'clock at night. And you're like, uh, I still have... I need some more like time with you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I want to go do things. Yeah. And I don't want to have to worry about being home, being in bed by eight o'clock. Right. Yeah. But that was when you liked him. Both when I liked him and then when I no longer liked him. Did I ever like him? <laughs> have you ever seen the, um, the Medea monologue where she's like, how did I end up with you? <laughs> like, what did I see in you? I have had that thought many times, but like as I'm dating and I meet people and they're like, I wake up at this time and I go to bed this time. I'm like, uh, strike you off the list. Oh yeah. I wouldn't strike someone off the list like no. that. No. Like, no. Really? Yeah. You're out and they're like, I got to go home and go to bed. And you're like, we're fun's not over yet. No. no. If everything else was. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 For sure. Okay. Um, do you think this is funny? <laughs> do you think I've ever been fired from a job? If so, what for? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so there wouldn't be a what for because I don't think you've ever been fired. Okay. I feel like you have been fired. I've also been fired. Have you? Yeah. Um, I feel like your firing would be like something that you did that was like caring <laughs> that was misconstrued by someone else ah. as being like not, not the for the motivation or purpose uh, that it was done uh, for. Interesting. I have never been fired. You've never been fired? Mm -mm. Okay, you wanna hear my story? Yes. Okay, so back when I worked at Channel 13, 
um, there was, so I was doing a new show Mm -hmm. and the show involved a lot of like music. Mm -hmm. And because we had very few people running things, I would have to like cue up the music to play. And that was just their protocol. Mm -hmm. And so like you could hear the music in your um, headset. So like I would, I would use YouTube music Mm -hmm. from whatever. And then the um, audio operator would like like butt up the music Mm -hmm. so that you could hear it. Right. Well, so I turned on a clip and I didn't proof it before it went to the complete end I proofed it and like made sure it was good because you know how sometimes things will pop up with like ads or random shit so at the end of this piece of music there was something in the video that said fuck your mother (laughs) (laughs) and it made so we were going to a commercial break and I didn't even see it pop up because it literally was at the end of the video like randomly inserted just for my my Yes. blessing of being fired benefit <laughs> and the director was and we, so we were going to commercial we went to commercial and the director was like what was that and i was like what was what and he was like go replay that video at the end there was something so i replay the recording of like that segment of the show and for like what was it like six it was a sixth of a second so whatever amount of frames there are like 20 five frames I think Uh in a second okay so what is that like yeah like five four frames Mm -hmm. it just barely slithered in there so that it was almost like a um subliminal subliminal message right (sighs) and no calls like the station got no calls about it and I went right to my executive producer at the time and I was like so this is what happened like I'm freaking out because you are trying to abide by FCC laws Right. right And it's like an 11 a.m. show on the news. (laughs) And so um, I like hear nothing about it for days. And my EP is like, you did the right thing just like by telling me and wasn't your fault. We know you didn't do anything like intentional. So the GM, a few days later, they put me on like a suspension and then they fired me. And so this is where the funny part came up was that um, I filed for unemployment. Mm -hmm. And they refused to pay my unemployment and we had to go through a hearing. Oh my gosh. But here's here's the thing. They refused it. They they um not refused it, but they challenged it yeah. after it had already been paid out. <laughs> so I was like, I've already spent this money. Call yeah. Envy Energy, call Cox Cable, <laughs> call the call the gas company. Like I don't have it anymore, yeah. right? Yeah. And um so I had to go to a hearing and There are very few people who get fired who are eligible for unemployment, but the state ended up awarding me the ability to keep it. Like I didn't have to pay it back because they were like, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your intention to do that. So that seems like a crazy reason to fire somebody like like warning. Okay. Yeah. So I've never been fired, but I have been laid off a few times, Mm -hmm. multiple times. But I think like when I can see that when the writing is on the wall yeah. and I'm like, you can't fire me. I quit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But n- never been actually fired. Yeah. But not that getting laid off doesn't feel like that. Well, there's always a part of you that's like, did they lay me off? Because like, was I in this group? Because they were like, oh, good. We have an ex- a good excuse. And oh, hit the, don't let the r- door hit you with it. <laughs> right, right. I was laid off from my first news job. The whole department was. Mm-hmm. And we all saw the writing on the wall. So um, our boss was kind enough to say, yeah, you know, like mm-hmm. do what you need to do. So I found another job not knowing when they were going to announce the closure of the station I was at. And then literally I turned in my two weeks. And then one week later is when they announced it. So if I had just waited one week, you don't have a crystal ball, Mm -hmm. but like when they did my exit interview with everyone, they did this, but they were just like, oh, so you quit. You have a job. Great for you. Have a great day. And I was like, no, I'm like, you give, give, you're giving everyone else a package except me. Yeah. Even though I knew that this was coming and that's why I found another job. Yeah. But they like, you know, legally didn't have to give me anything. (sighs) So. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. I would do this one, but you know what the answer is going to be. <laughs> what have I introduced you to Yeah, that you now love? Yeah. Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> and Pilates. Yes. 
Oh my gosh, that should really be first. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing I would get. I want to get certified in Pilates. Mm -hmm. It's just finding the time. I want to get back to Pilates. So yeah, I miss it. Do I look kind? Explain. Yes. I don't have resting bitch face. No. No, no. I don't know how do I explain it though. Like, I don't know. I feel like some other people are like, you had a mean face that day, and I was like, I don't know. I have a, I have a resting bitch mm -hmm. face. I've been I've heard this like my whole life. You have? Yeah. I don't think so at no. all. Uh -uh. My best friend in high school is like, you just have the, one like that face, and I'm like, like an ugly one. Like what are you? <laughs> But like, I, like if I'm not comfortable around people, like maybe I just don't know what's happening on my face. Yeah. Ooh, this is a good one. What part of your job doesn't feel like work? Oh, what doesn't feel like work? I don't know. I feel like when you take a like exceptionally like fun job, yeah. like decorating people's homes is supposed to be fun, right? right? But when you have to do it as a job, it's a little mm -hmm. different. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I've just been like, having all the time in the world to like delicately plan a space. It's like, it no, this is, I have two hours. I have to get the deliverable out. I have to pick up my kid. I have to do, yep. you know. For me, it would be showing houses. Mm. I enjoy that. Yeah. I like being out with clients. I like taking them around. I like looking at houses with them within reason. Uh -huh. and I think that's like one of the most enjoyable parts of, of this business. Yeah. Um, on the, on the flip side of that, a job that I think people think is fun that is not fun is buying foreclosures at auction. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh, that sounds like fun. Like it's it's really not. Mm -hmm. You know, you're there all day or for a long period of time, and you don't even know if you're going to get anything. And there's it's just it's grueling. It's, it seems like fun like the first couple times, but then it's like, eh, yeah, not so much fun. And then like if you go to other states like Georgia and Texas, um, where they, there's some States where they do it on like the courthouse steps uh -huh. and you might be waiting outside all day for them to come out and bring the property and, and they call it crying it. And like when I was in Atlanta, it was like 30 degrees and I was outside on the courthouse all day. Like that's oh, not geez. as much fun no. as it seems. You can show homes. I'll write up offers. I I enjoy like the verbiage of like writing up a, <laughs> <laughs> of writing up like a solid offer. Okay. Or putting something in a contract mm. that like makes it. Yeah. I like it. Not the like once I've, yeah, I like the, the completion of it. Yeah. Not necessarily. Like if I, I'm not sure, sure how to do it. One thing I love is if I'm like, oh crap, how am I going to do that? And I pull up an old contract. I'm like, oh, and I have something to mm -hmm. pull from. Mm -hmm. That's very satisfying. Oh, yeah. I do know how to do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's stored way back here mm -hmm. behind the cobwebs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh this is, this is easy. Who do you think my celebrity crush is? I already know this one. I know. It's cheating. It's Charlie Hunnam. Yeah. I think mine's changed. Who's who's yours now? Well, maybe I did tell you John Krasinski. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you did tell me that. Yeah. Such an odd pick, no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it, though. I mean, he and what? Who is it? Emily uh, Blunt. Emily Blunt, yeah. They're cute. Apparently, apparently I, I like Pollocks. Don't report us. Can we say Polacks? Can we say white girl? I like the boys that are Polish. There's there's someone who may follow this that will appreciate that. <laughs> um, that's obvious. Do you think I intimidate others? Yeah. Why or why not? Um, because you're so outgoing and like personable, and I think for some people that like they would like to be that way. I'm gonna tell you a secret. Sometimes I intimidate myself <laughs> because sometimes I get caught in situations where I don't have a great poker face. Yeah. I'm either in it. I don't have a, I don't think I have a resting bitch face, but I think that I have just a very permeable, like an understandable body language and energy. And like, if I think someone is so fake or if I'm just like, this is so dumb, you it's definitely hard have to a, hide it I, for me. I, you def, yeah, you have a, this like when you're over it or when you're not in it or not about it. Uh huh. It's kind of like I'm I'm not about this. Yeah, I'm not about pretending I am about this. Like, I, I'm done. Like I'm ready to leave now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how I. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I make myself irritated. Did by we get it. into the twos? Are we going to go that far? I feel like I'm on level one still. I think we went through all of these unless what? you, I mean, I did, I definitely. Did I mix these? 
we mix them. That's all right. It's they're, they're written on there, so it's not a big deal. Level two. It says friendship oh, edition. Man. There's also the regular ones. What fast food restaurant do you think I'm most likely to drive through, and what's my order? This might be cheating, but in and out You are cheating. <laughs> I already know this one. <laughs> in and out and protein style? Um, yes. Did I, I told you the protein style story, though, right? Uh, I mean, I've seen you eat one over the sink. At, <laughs> over the sink because they're like a horse. <laughs> um, as a teenager, I was like in the drive through line with my best friend, Carrie, in high school. And I was like, Carrie, what's that type of um, burger when they put the mush or when they put the onions in the, the what was it, cheese? Uh -huh. Doggy style? <laughs> 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 Nikki, no. <laughs> never. Never called that. I was like, why what? what? She goes, animal style. <laughs> <laughs> and so through my laughter I ordered it and I was like, I was gonna order. I told the <laughs> I'm so devoted to transparency here. I told the worker I was like, I was gonna order a doggy style. And she's like, You wouldn't have been the first. <laughs> so I, I I got my mom and I porta sub sandwiches uh -huh. uh, on Sunday uh, Saturday and I I'm at the counter with the guy and Porta Subs, you know, at what's the other one? Subway has uh -huh. six inch or 12 inch, right? Yeah. Well, Porta Subs is five inches or eight inches. Yeah. And I was like, you know, five inches isn't quite big enough and <laughs> eight inches is a little too big. I was like, I feel like I shouldn't be saying this to you. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting really too personal in this sub shop <laughs> and he was this like tattooed guy and he just like he just kind of snickered but yeah. i was like i'm gonna pretend like i didn't say that <laughs> i had that whole conversation with sean trying to find a hair cur uh, curling iron <laughs> i was like some of these barrels are just too short and that one's really way too long this one has too much girth <laughs> yeah <laughs> like what are we do what are we, what are we talking here about here again? okay wait what i i don't know what fast food? I feel like you're, I mean, what fast food restaurant? I feel like it's Starbucks mm -hmm, for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would I get? Uh, egg bites. Yep. There's some in my purse right now that I haven't <laughs> eaten yet. <laughs> They're like two hours old. <laughs> be delicious. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we'll be back next week with more terrifying <laughs> reflections. Terrifying personal insights. <laughs> <laughs>